coming up with a good voicemail message is hard. It's an art, really. No, 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 it is. Think about it. I mean, you've got to prepare something before you even call anybody. Because what if it goes to voicemail? You don't want to just hang up. Because then they'll see you on their missed calls and you'll look weak. Not cool. But then you can't just start talking and rambling on. Because then you might end up talking for like minutes and not even have a point. And then you sound stupid and unprepared. You've got to have a good voicemail message ready to go. It's got to be a good length. It's got to have good content. It's, but it also has to sound spontaneous. It can't sound too planned. That is the real trick. You know, anybody can sit down for a couple hours and write the perfect voicemail. But then after going over and over it in your head, it sounds so rehearsed, and the magic is gone. It's a performance, you know? You've got to nail it like it's the first time you are coming up with it. It's got to be spontaneous, or else they'll hear it and they'll know, oh, look at this loser. He sat around thinking up a voicemail message to leave me, and he must have practiced it like a hundred times. And that's what you want to do, but that's not what you want them to think. It's tough. It is. But what other choice do we have, really? Stupid voicemail. <sighs> Why don't people just answer their fucking phones?